parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 738 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And we have a hell of a show going on for you. We are going to achieve a lot of things. Uh, we're going to attempt to achieve a lot of things that, uh, that may be new for the world of live podcasting. And uh, we have a hell of a crew to, to help us with that. First of all, since he's the man on the screen over here, the Riz of Riz Plays Games is with us. He's waving wildly Hi. for every, everybody on audio later on the Hi, podcast. Audio listeners. Whoops, that's I'm the wrong button. People. There is the Riz button. There you there go. I am. Here I am. Hi, everybody. Fuck Jim Cornette. Oh, oh we'll talk about that for timely. sure. timely. We'll talk about that for sure. I don't even know why, but yes. Yes, and there he is. There he is there, too. <laughs> Mad Mike is with us as well from Beacon, New York. Sorg, I'm still not over it. Still not over? Uh, oh, the Iconics. Wait a minute. You want to show them the thing that we did the other day? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah, right, here we ready? go. We got countdown uh, because I'm of scared. Skype lag, but uh, hold on, hold yeah. on. Ready? Ready? It's going to be okay. Ready? Three, two, one. My Conics. Oh, it's been nice, guys. I'm I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we had a big coping session for the breakup for the Iconics last night, and this is how we cope, right, Mike? Yes. So, also, also with us, you saw him because if you're if you're on the video, I keep hitting the wrong button here. Go. The uh, artist formerly known as the Reaper, uh, Matt Connard, is with us today. How you doing, Matt? I'm swell. He are back, and I promised you no knock-knock jokes. Oh, good. <laughs> Unless you good. want to. No, I didn't prepare at all. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, I didn't prepare in hopes that I wouldn't come here and, and Rollers would be sitting over there. Because I was <laughs> hoping that wouldn't have to happen. I do love afterwards. He was like, I was kind of hoping Matt would have been here. <laughs> Oh, no. We gotta listen. Listen, we need a special occasion to reunite the dream team of Heel Bradley and Mac. On very special. Yes. Like I'm on the brink of death. Special. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch up with you with what's going on. And yeah. uh, hey, thank you for coming back, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. We didn't me. scare you away. It's good. No, it's good. I always love coming in. Well, we had you in for an uh, indie mayhem show, of course, a few months ago. We're actually talking about the trademark issues and everything. Let's right. touch base on that. There's actually a lot. There's some other legal news of sorts. So yeah, uh, <laughs> sort of related <laughs> of uh, some other friends of the show. Also, just going to check in real quick. We have a, uh, a special team uh, mayhem news breaking team with us. Uh, uh, Matt Connard, are you there? Are, are you there on the on the on the earpiece? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Sorg. I'm here. How? Yes. Are, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Can't right. hear you over my dog, but yes. We're, yes, the podcast we're, we're, we're dog is pissed. We're live from the brand new WMS Broadcasting World Headquarters. Uh, newly constructed. It's fantastic. Fantastic here. Uh, and we're tracking the uh, the returns coming in on this super Tuesday uh, for this NXT Championship match. And as you can see, with uh, about 10% of the precincts uh, in so far, it is too close to call. Too close to so, call. Uh, there we'll it is. Closely watching this race and uh, probably checking some uh, some exit polling to see if we can uh, get a read on this. And uh, we'll be checking out uh, checking in with you throughout the night. Fantastic, fantastic. Let us know if there's any breaking news throughout it. I know it might break up the conversation a little, but it'll be worthwhile. Um, but anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, uh, where you can catch everything there. And please subscribe. Hit us up at that email address. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, 412-206-WMS0. Tweet at Mayhem Show and uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group and page and of course we're here live every tuesday at 9 p.m eastern and whether my dog is pissed about it or not apparently <laughs> jeez man no oh, the dog on? is the dog is sword you don't speak dog i don't speak dog what's the dog saying Your right dog now is conducting man on the street interviews about super tuesday yeah he's, he's yelling at the man on the street unfortunately outside sword, the window that's what news media is <laughs> it kind of is isn't it that's <laughs> true hey you what's your opinion <laughs> Yeah, basically. I got you. That actually shut him up. 
<laughs> see long, we'll see how long see? that one lasts. And that's how you deal with it, Sorg. That's how Yellow we deal powder. with it. Absolutely, absolutely. But anyways, uh, so oh yeah, I need to plug more things. Apparently, uh, Tuesday 9 p.m. We're everywhere. We're on Facebook Live. We're on the Sor- uh, Thank you for putting the great colleagues in the uh, Twitch for Sorgatron Media. There, Riz plays games. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I love when I love when he does that. Uh, it's it's. I don't know if you can see that on there, but the resolution. Uh, we are on the YouTube page. We are on the Periscope as well. Please get a share out if you're watching us live. Please hit the hearts and the likes uh, right now and give us some love for the mayhem and what's up everybody out there uh in the mayhem tina uh bradley is of course out there course and uh so many more day potter uh the mayhem is strong tonight uh so and also yeah subscribe to the podcast rate and review and oh matt you know i didn't do hold on a second i'm mm. going to toss you something because we we started something that i didn't give you a heads up would you mind reading the uh the the lowdown of the uh our, our patreon supporters here tonight sure all right i'm going to pull that up and toss that to you in one moment but you guys can support the show at patreon.com uh slash wrestling mayhem show oh there geez, you go sword. there you go i just threw the patreon <laughs> at our guests wow. <laughs> so can you read uh the the level they're on uh the, the name of the level they're on and just their names and i don't know if you remember how to say that first one from last time so um, matt connard is going to i hope i didn't like move it <laughs> no no <laughs> there you go all right uh shout out to all the fan of the show level people yes this uh Bo Diggity, Woo! Mr. Ed Burke, Mr. Bobby F. J. Town, and Team Hammerfist. Hammerfist. That's so good I'd say it twice. All right. Shout out to all the Poppy Club level people. Uh, do I have to? Yeah, you have to. I'm sorry. It's part of the. It's part of the thing. Bradley Brothers. What a guy. Dave Pon- Podner. Podner. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Towery. The Pizza Club level oh, people. Oh, you missed one. Tina. Oh, I did. Yeah. Oh, Tina Keys. I am so sorry, Tina. I'm sorry. Reading Bradley's name just upset me to the point where I'm trying to speed through this now. So yeah. Like, fair. We just, we just keep moving. It happens a lot. Gives, he gives us money. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but I, I get it. In uh, this yeah. economy, you know, you have to get it where you can. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. The, <laughs> say hello to all the Pizza Club level people. And by all of them, I mean to the both of them. Doc Remedy is looking at you. And Kyle Turner. Yes. <laughs> whose handle's amazing, the bastard. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. All right, manager level people, can't forget about you. Looking at Occupy Pro Wrestling and Farnsworth Investments. You can support the show too at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for, for giving the shout outs for this week. Bravo. Thank you, Patreons. <laughs> Surprisingly, because I didn't give them a heads up on that. <laughs> it's, it's a new thing we we're starting, so I'm 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 getting the getting it in. Uh, so you're gonna throw your phone at people, sort of. So so yeah, throw my phone at you. My lord, it is a it is an eight plus with a giant case. So, but it's padded, if you could tell. Uh, so <laughs> it is. It is. Thank goodness. Less rubbery, because that could that could have been a problem. Thank you, Otterbox. Uh, not a sponsor. Uh, so uh, let, let, let's. Get some WWE news for for a moment. Uh, we talked a little bit with Mad Mike last night. Of course, both Mad Mike and Riz made it onto the Thunderdome and could yeah. be seen on Payback on Sunday night. Mike, we talked with you a little bit last night about your experience with that. Riz, you're a first timer. We've all uh, I mean, we've all had about two weeks of shows uh, 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 with this new experience, television wise. I gave some first impressions last week on a couple of the shows. Uh, Riz, what was your experience over on the Thunderdome? Um. The concept's good. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, the concept being that, and I, I was very two weeks ago. I was very skeptical skeptical about the Thunderdome without ever seeing or, of course, being inside said Thunderdome. Mm-hmm. Um, but the concept itself is good. Uh, you get 
you get your own TV, you get your, you get your own pay-per-view, like right in front of you. Um, I think it was 10 seconds before anyone else who's watching was watching. Um, but there was a lot of staggering, a lot of buffering, a lot of different things that like it, it, it took it away. And, and like Mad Mike and I were talking while we were in the Thunderdome <laughs> through Facebook going, is, is your shit working? He's like, no, mine's still buffering from when I first started. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I don't know about you, Mike, but after, after Seth Rollins' entrance, it wasn't that bad of an experience. I don't know if it's because people decided to, to just log off at work or, or it just picked up speed and actually worked. Um, for me at least. Um, and it was, it, and honestly, it was a good experience for Sunday mm-hmm. because I know Monday and Fridays usually get the weird crowd that uses the video of like and tries to ruin it for everybody. Um, because they're on national but, TV, so there's more exposure, so there's more assholes exactly. trying to get on. Because this is a free exactly. thing. This is still a it, free it's free. Thing. So like, like, I, yeah. like, like I mentioned before, this is a free, like if you sign up and you're selected. No matter what what time you get, mm-hmm. you get a free pay per view if you're on pay per view. Mm-hmm. Like that that's in, that's a pretty good incentive not to fuck up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you if you're there as a fan and not there to cause trouble, right? Yeah. And 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 I've I've done this twice now. Um, the, one of the weird things was as soon as I got in and as soon as it started working. Uh, it was the middle of Seth Rollins' entrance. Then all of a sudden, the music cuts out. You hear some rustling and rumbling of like that's a good impression. Microphones fidgeting. That's a good impression. And then you hear, "What do you guys think of Seth?" Like it, it, very far away. What do you guys think of Seth Rollins? You guys like? You guys like him? Like I'm like, okay. I guess they need to like push everybody in the right direction but Mm -hmm. it was a weird disembodied voice in my head uh but it was weird like it it was weird seeing a big screen version of front row people like normally Mm -hmm. i'm seeing like just it it was i don't know if it's gonna stick for wrestling fans Mm mm-hmm I, I kind of want it to stick because it act like down the line they're gonna tweak it and they're gonna make sure that the riffraff stays out, that people are actually held accountable for whatever that whatever they put on there. Mm-hmm. Um, but overall, it was a it was a good experience, and it was seeing seeing Mad Mike right next to uh, Braun Strowman like head for head is pretty cool. <laughs> and Riz, seeing Riz, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um did you audibly cheer or boo or clap? Oh fuck no. I was like, <laughs> I was like <laughs> You kind of feel weird doing that to your computer, like, like, right? Like no yeah, it was it was pretty much just me in my room trying to cheer like i'm actually there so yeah no i wasn't like (laughs) audibly yelling and screaming and causing a ruckus i was just like miming because because i i clapped a few times Mm -hmm. and then i got a text from my fiance downstairs like it's really weird to hear you clapping at nothing and then i was like okay i'm just gonna mime it well yeah that's what i that's what i did i was just like you know what nobody hears me anyways it's all it's all built in it's it's fine 
We did. Uh, so so next time Mad Mike gets to go out there, maybe this is what you need to do, too. Uh, we made a clapping loop in gift form of Mike silently applauding uh, that we put out on the Twitter last night. Uh, so <laughs> I think that's what you need. I think that's what that's you, need. you need. Yeah, there he is. There, yeah, he's going nuts. Look at it. Look at perfectly, him. It's perfectly shaped. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It actually, it because they give you that outline of mm -hmm. like how how many how much headroom you have to. It's have. a very square kind of view, isn't it? Yeah. Because I know it's yeah. like like just, just you know you you can see. I mean, it, it Mike's view was like a truncated version of what we see on the show. I felt like when we saw him on screen. Mm -hmm. So and mine was very, even more compressed. Mm -hmm. Like I was, you could actually see chest, mm -hmm. but when you looked at the screen. It was just like my neck up. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know about you, Mike, but I enjoyed it <laughs> much more than I thought I would. Good, good. Oh, yeah, it was fine. I don't think it's something I need to do again. No, 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 no. no, no. I don't think it's something I need to do again. But but to say that I experienced it, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I mean, it, we're, we, we, we were on television mm -hmm. in the state of the art at a pay-per-view. Pay pay yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At, like, I, I've been to many a pay-per-view. I've never been on TV at any of those pay-per-views because <laughs> those tickets are expensive. Mm -hmm. We were mm -hmm. we were on TV at a pay-per-view that had a ring explosion. I still think... Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a good point. It's going to be I, shown... I think they could do premium Thunderdome. Oh, yeah. Like... Like, cause honestly, what I would do, and this is again, this is me, surround the ring, the ringside area with one row of monitors. Mm -hmm. Charge ninety bucks a pop, you get the whole show. You're on the whole time, and they send you a pay per view chair. Oh, okay. okay. I'm, I'm telling you, I would pay it. That I would, would work. I would categorically pay it, and you can still but... be kicked for any of the reasons. Thunderdome and they'll refund you your money. And Just you like when you buy a ticket to the show, you can get kicked out if yeah, you're in the front absolutely. row making trouble, right? So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, honestly, I, I would categorically do that. Mm -hmm. Here's an idea. I see yours, mm -hmm. and I <laughs> raise you like for like twenty twenty five up. Okay. You get an extra dark match. Uh, uh... I don't know if that's a reason think? to. I, I, I mean, it should be I, part of the package no, in general. No, like no, for a no, Raw no, or a SmackDown or no something. No one pays like that. for dark matches. No, because the way they're doing the tapings, the tapings are all. Mm -hmm. Like, they're, they're not doing dark matches. Dark yeah. matches are for in person fans. Like, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's, that's the dark a, match is what's advertised to bring the fans. That, that's in. a like, send them home happy them. kind of thing, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Listen, John Cena never loses the dark match. I'm pretty or sure. Or, like, hey, John Cena wasn't on Raw tonight except for. One segment where he said "poopy butt" and wrote uh, on a limo. But here's Cena coming out at the end to beat up I don't know two thirds of Nexus. Like, oh, <laughs> that, didn't that happen? I think this sounds that like a very specific. That sounds a very specific example that Mike experienced in Brooklyn sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so. I don't think I ever did, but it just sounds like it would be a dark <laughs> match. Yeah, like like John Cena against. Darren Young, Heath Slater, and Michael Tarver. And whatever it is, it, whatever it is, it's a your town here street fight. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah. Or if it's Christmas, it's the the, the Bakersfield street, street fight. The Bakersfield street fight. The Youngstown yeah. street fight. The... Hey, you know what? Because people use Poughkeepsie for all Yo, that, that stuff. So that I'm has... gonna change it. I'm changing it to Bakersfield. You know how many Clearfield web, uh, Clearfield street fights I've seen. It's it's, it's <laughs> happens a lot. <laughs> you've seen you've seen some carnage in Clearfield. I've too. seen some mm. carnage, some cataclysm, some whatever. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> uh, uh, Matt, so so you've seen a little bit of this video, and and uh, I don't think you you haven't done this closed set wrestling no fans kind of situation yet, right? No. I mean, what do you what do you think of the idea of, of, of the Thunderdome as a performer? I as both a performer and as a fan, I think it's a I think it's a very creative uh positive uh step to take because everybody is I can say everybody's on the same but when all this happened and everything broke down and we were forced to set through raws and smackdowns mm -hmm. and pay-per-views with nobody 
in that building but the performers it was eerie it was unsettling it was hard to watch yeah because the fans are such an important part of the show that without them it's just stark noise mm -hmm. like it's terrible so even even the fact of seeing the arena filled even if it's with screens is a step in the right direction as far as the longevity of continuing to be able to run shows without actual fans in the building my my biggest question is this is a new concept people are still on board with with trying it and being part of this experiment when this the interest in this thing starts dying down mm -hmm. and people stop volunteering to be part of this thunderdome thing at what point does wwe start plugging in crowd like they used to plug in crowd noise like at what point do they start putting bots up there? Because you just like a just like a half empty arena, you got to move the seats. You got to move everyone cl as close mm -hmm. as possible. You got to spread them out. You're just gonna have blank screens up there. Like it, it's, I don't in the long term, I don't see it being as hot of a concept as it is now. And I'm curious to see how they continue to navigate it as the as the the. Uh, uh, as the niche factor of it wears off mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and starts to level yeah, I, out. I've seen multiple, like multiple times looking at either raw or, or la last Sunday's pay-per-view. I noticed that they have sometimes put the same camera shot, same picture on a different monitor. Mm -hmm. So you'll have two of the same people in the in two different areas mm. um now it's going to be weird if you have multiple pictures of the same person miming clapping and cheering um but i definitely see your point like it's it's once it dies down how how are they going to like change that they're just, they gonna, have they're just gonna plug tons. Kevin Dunn into any screen that isn't <laughs> filled, and you're just gonna have half arena the the huge teeth just. Wait, wait. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. Mm -hmm. What's that? What's that? You all right, Riz? Short, we have breaking news. We have breaking news. Oh. All right, all right. Hold on. Ooh, breaking ooh, news. Ooh. Breaking news. Ooh. Matt, take it away. Breaking news, Sorg, and with about. 45% of the precincts in. We have an early leader in tonight's contest, and it's Fergal uh, with a 1-0-0-0 to zero to zero to zero lead. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll keep checking that exit polling, and uh, we'll come back to you with any uh, new developments as, uh, as they warrant. Back to you. There you go. There you go, Finn, Finn Baylor with, Baylor with uh, the, the first in the hour along four-way Iron Man match. There you go That's from our breaking news say. desk. Thank you so much. Sorry, I believe it was Fergal, not Finn Balor. Fing I'm sorry, Fergal. Fergal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fake news, Fergal. <sighs> you know what it is? Hmm. It's the power of the Legos. It's the power of the Legos? Yeah. The power of the Legos. I bet he built a set. What do you think, what do you think uh, uh, Fergal made? What set did he put together this week in preparation for this big match? Star Destroyer. Star Destroyer? Yep. Okay. Easily. Easily. Okay. All right. No hesitation at all. Just the Star Destroyer. You got it. you got a guess over there, Matt? Uh, <laughs> I had to take a get the Washington Monument. Mm. Ooh, solid. How solid. how American for this <laughs> not American fellow. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, but you know what? You know what? It's it's challenging to build that. It is. It would it be is. very challenging. <laughs> Especially through scale. Especially to scale, that'd be to scale. incredibly difficult. There you go. You got to think about this guy's been building Lego sets for I don't know. We saw that what five six years ago. Yeah. At, least, at mm -hmm. what point Apparently, has he gone through everything? Hey, also remember, and watching his VHS of SummerSlam '95, um, somebody give yes. that guy a subscription to the network. <laughs> 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 it's like, come on, guys. Jeez. So. Um. Damn it! Uh, that reminds me. I need to. I still need to watch the R Truth game show. I haven't gotten that yet. I watched a lot of Chronicles this week, <laughs> so man, nice. 
man, WWE documentary team's really good. Uh, so, uh, did anybody watch that Braun Strowman one? I have not watched that one yet. Is that uh, about Mania? Um, it's leading up to Mania, and I think a little bit past, if I recall, a little bit maybe. I think it's mostly okay. up to Mania, but uh, that is, and I know the the headline throughout the week was about how he. Like while at WWE, like had considered suicide because of his like position going on there. So like it's it's really good. You're um you're probably gonna like Braun more after this. Uh, it's it's it, it that comment aside, you know. But but there's a lot of like there's a lot of just talking to Braun sitting on a river. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen the if you've seen the Ray Rowe and Sarah Logan um, videos on YouTube where they're just like hanging out in nature, yeah. you know, and 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 it's uh <laughs> you know him and Hanson talking about how they how they got the the War Raiders names and all that stuff, like that's basically this entire documentary with <laughs> with occasional we went to record the D- WrestleMania match with Goldberg, you know, <laughs> like it's it's that's it, you know, it's just like yeah, all right, I get this, you know, yeah, so but. Yeah, I've heard I've yeah, heard like, a lot of good things like, about it. I just haven't got a chance to see it yet. And I'm mm. I've all I've I've always been on the fence of, fence with that guy cuz I don't know. There he's got that intangible especially for a big man where I'm not disinterested in him, mm-hmm. but there's just there's just always something there where <laughs> I don't know if it's just like the whole uh the whole niche of like the raise my arms, yell brawn. I don't know. It felt like he was so one note for so long that I just I needed something more from him. And maybe that's what they've been doing lately mm-hmm. with like the shaved head and kind of making him more aggressive. I haven't seen a ton of that, mm-hmm. but maybe I need to watch this. It'll it'll flip me on him a little bit. It, it, it's pretty fantastic because he talks about when it was time for him to shave his head, and and and, and of course this is the way it is, right? Mm. Um, like. He said he did, and Vince is like, hold on, let's run it through legal, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because of he got because he got to do all the trade like trademarks or something to it, like, like the, the bald head, well, the, the, the visual trademark oh, of him, okay. right? Like yeah. like like the style and right. everything like that. Right. Like he got to submit new pictures and things like that. Like he can't, you know. I remember the old Total Divas when even Marie like colored her, her hair red out of nowhere, and they're like, and they like had a freaking cow over it. We were like, right. no, you're supposed to. I be- I never thought that was real. Yeah, that's true. It's also total to be, divas. So, it was yeah. total divas. Like I, I never thought that was, that was real. Mm-hmm. That they were really angry at her for coloring her hair. Yeah, I mean, I could imagine the paperwork those guys have to do just if they want to get a new tattoo, mm-hmm. let alone like shave their head or change their hair color. Or... You don't just get a tattoo on a whim. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You you do if you're some people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. True. You remember when Randy Orton broke his collarbone, came back, and he had sleeves? <laughs> you think yeah. anyone argued with him? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I'm I'm thinking more. Remember when Paige's only role in the company was to stand still and hold a microphone, so she got talk shit, get bit on her fucking sides of her hand. <laughs> oh no. I forgot. Yeah. I forgot all about. It. <laughs> Oh they had God. they had to put makeup on her hands oh. every time she came out as SmackDown general manager. Yeah, yeah. Like that that's a real thing. <laughs> and she, she definitely didn't get cleared for those, I'd imagine. Jeez. <laughs> she got like a huge like towards the end there, she got a huge like torso tattoo, didn't she? Yeah. That that, that yeah. didn't cover up or anything, so mm. I don't know. Um, but hey, hey if the, I, I, I feel, you know, there has to be a tattoo policy even more in, in, in place after, um, the CM Punk with his, uh, very trademark tattoo choices going into oh, it. Oh yeah. Like that, you know, that was a long discussion, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Pepsi, you had the uh, Cobra GI Joe. Yeah. yeah. Well, Pepsi, Pepsi was the predominant one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially just, since he had, well, to be a- fair, to be fair, Braun has a, giant superman tattoo yeah, right but, on his shoulder but superman but the superman logo is so innocuous everyone has superman tattoos mm-hmm. so like i mean they called cesaro the swiss superman that's true <laughs> yeah that's and they, called never... R-Truth, they called our truth the suntan superman which still rubs me the wrong way mm. huh wait who calls yeah. it does he call him that uh that was definitely a nickname of his for a little bit Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. Well, he also had Hurricane would... for years had that Green Lantern tattoo on his arm. Mm -hmm. I mean, true. obviously yeah. that and, didn't... And Cody, and Cody had the Triforce on his boots. Like, right. you know, it's, it's all public domain stuff. Well, also you no. can't, you won't find a hurricane figure with a green lantern tattoo on his arm. Mm -mm. Yeah, mm -mm. same way. Like yeah. as long as they're not making money off of it. Yeah. Like, if it's on if it's on someone's person, you can't really do it. Like I think the only person whose tattoos they refuse to show on TV <coughs> are MVP. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh. That's why he's always worn the uh, the jumpsuit. Right. Absolutely. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. Here's an uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, sorry, we have breaking news. Oh, 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 we got breaking news. Uh, Matt, take it away. Thank you, Sorg. About the uh, fifty percent of the precincts reporting right now, and we uh we have two clear front runners right now: Fergal and Mr. Takeover. Uh, that'd be Finn Balor and Johnny Gargano. Um, both with one, uh, Daddy and Bebe still yet to get onto the board. Um, the exit polling looks strong for Fergal. Just, just letting you know. Back to I, you. I was late with the music. Sorry about that. We'll take I, you I out with a, it. I have, a feeling, I have a feeling he's only doing a poll of one. So <laughs> yeah. On that exit poll. It does, yeah, it does feel it does feel like a rather limited poll, doesn't it? So like, uh, like the one person in his household definitely wants Virgil to win. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> where's your uh, where where's your your co-anchor there, Matt? Or is she uh, <clears throat> uh, too? Uh, she's on my, my co-anchor is on assignment. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> it's almost like he's a newsman or something. Almost yeah. like, almost <laughs> like he's done this before. Uh, so... <laughs> oh, oh boy. boy. Oh, um. Oh, wait, every time he breaks in with breaking news, I get the same panic that I get um on M MST3K when they get movie sign. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Like, oh, we got breaking just, news! Oh, just, just yell oh. Movie, movie, movie sign oh. next time he comes up. Oh, we got movie sign! <laughs> <laughs> well, well MC3K made me laugh so hard when I was a child, I need my inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. Well, uh, we're going to take a moment here. Of course, give a shout out. Uh, you can check out Matt Connard in his many names over at IndieWrestling.us and the Indie Wrestling Network, IndieWrestling.network. So are we uh, breaking news? Oh, God, 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 oh we got movies on! Oh, oh, it's a commercial. I can't fun. do that during a commercial. Hold on a second. There's so many buttons. <laughs> Hold on a second. You'll get an ad during the breaking news. Go ahead, Matt. News waits for no man or no ad. 55% of the precincts in. You can see Bay Bay is on the board. Whoa. Uh, we're still Whoa. waiting to hear from Daddy. Uh, so uh, three-way lead. But as I said, the exit polling right now is very strong for Fergal. Back to you. Fantastic. There you go. That news break was brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. <laughs> Apparently, uh, where a lot of that will happen, including, um, <laughs> hey, uh, uh, you can see... Oh, there's the music again. <laughs> you can actually see uh, Adam Cole, uh, Tommaso Ciampa, and Johnny Gargano across IndieWrestling.us. Uh, uh, Tommaso from that uh, ver vicious outcast wrestling that's been added to, v to the uh, VOD, the VOW VOD on Vimeo. Wow, that's a mouthful. Uh, as well as best of for a lot of those other guys as well, uh, including uh, new uh, newish new shows of Premier Pro Wrestling. Uh, AJ Styles, the missing matches. We found them. Uh, and the uh, half of 2016 for Vicious Outcast Wrestling is now included on the Indie Wrestling Network 599. Check it out with your seven day free trial. And uh, of course, like I said, Matt, you're a part of that as well. I, I believe your entire Rise Wrestling run is a uh, championship run is a part of that uh that the, that back catalog that we do have up there it sure is and it contains some of my favorite matches i've had in my entire career mm -hmm. and i think all of you should go watch all of them and tell me how much you love them there you go because you will there you go and by the way you can tweet him at his new twitter yeah my new twitter sure. We have breaking news. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. we got oh movie signs. Oh, movie sign. Wow. Oh, no. Here's the problem. The video keeps playing, and I end up on some other video, apparently, without the music. <laughs> so, uh, That's okay. We'll just do it on the way out. We'll okay. No, somehow I'm watching Fox News. I don't know understand oh, what's no. going on here. No, oh, no, sorry, no, get no, no, there. no, no. Abort, abort, abort. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Go ahead, Matt. Uh, yes, thank you very much, Sorg. 
Uh, Daddy's on the board. Uh, it's all tied up. Uh, wow. We are, we're about 60 to 65 percent of the precincts reporting in right now. But don't forget those absentee ballots. Back to you. <laughs> How do you absentee? How do you absentee? Sorry, overtime. Overtime. Overtime? Is that it? Oh, yeah. Matt, you, yeah. Matt, you've been a part of Iron Man matches before, some of them on Indie Wrestling Network. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, I have. How do you uh, how do you absentee ballot an Indie uh, an Iron Man match? We're learning tonight. I don't know. There was only one fall on the one I was in. <laughs> I don't know how that works. It was almost just kind of like a half an hour match. It really was. <laughs> it was very long. I forget, was that an overtime fall or no, no it was like a No, it was at the, with the last split second. So I didn't even know this was an Iron Man match. And you know when I was editing today? Hmm. An Iron Man match? <laughs> really? I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> like out of nowhere. Um, of course, I guess if I paid attention to last week's episode. Um, no, it was uh, I was given an assignment to add like the graphic in the corner mm. of the time and the falls and everything right. like that. So yeah. which is actually a first. We just put a giant clock behind you yeah, guys. We had, we had the just, luxury yeah. of having a giant screen behind us. So this guy just... also had like a screen with a clock. Okay. But I still had to put a clock even though the clock was on but, screen but at least i knew what to time it with so <laughs> right. um uh, I, I, you know hey, d- uh, it included professor jacob edwin oh. as part of that so oh, wow. um anyways um my, wait, wait wait matt matt did 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 something just happen <coughs> or is this just a quadruple down Okay, never mind. Nothing uh, just happened. No, when okay. news breaks, I'll let you know. Okay, I'm sorry. Wow. I'm trying, I was getting ahead wow. of it. I saw something. God, Sork. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I, you do not fuck with the news business around here, apparently. You can't cry movie sign and there's no movie sign. Matt, you, you, Matt we were talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to me. So we, 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 we did have you uh, uh, a couple months ago on Indie Mayhem Show. We kind of had the gave the full lowdown, had you, David Lawless, who's mm-hmm. gone on to um, telling people how many illegal things Hulk Hogan has done with a semi-truck over on Gregory Irons podcast, which <laughs> is tremendous. Uh, but he was on with you talking about your trademark issues with AEW, of mm-hmm. course, the Sean Spears Reaper situation, right, yeah. which he still hasn't used. No. Uh, to my awareness, still no, no, on no. It. But you are you have a new moniker. I do. And you had a clearance on your merch apparently that I just missed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. No, I have a new moniker now. It's uh, legally you can call me the Death Dealer now. Um, thankfully. I just, I don't know, especially after the last conversation we had, I kind of just realized that I'm putting too much value on that name. Mm-hmm. I was a little too close to it, a little too uh, romantic about it, because I'd had that name for 10 years, and that felt like an eternity, mm-hmm. when in reality, it's never it's never really the name that you attach yourself to. It's the, it's the skill behind the name. So I just, just said, fuck it, and I'll find something else, and I quickly landed on this and quickly tried to lock it down and mm-hmm. succeeded so so got all the trademarks did all the things all the took, things took for the, all the stuff took the gavel's lawyerly advice yes for something his, like that took his lawyery lawyery advice and it, which is I, I i do wonder how many uh especially newer talents actually do lock down or even think about that i mean, I mean you are you say you've you had it for 10 years 10 like years, never something like this mind. has never popped up for the most part never crossed my you know, mind it's just it's, it's just so wild yeah like it's it, it was never like it had crossed my mind through the years but i never it had never floated in my head that anyone would even try mm-hmm. to steal it mm-hmm. or could eat could do it <clears throat> like i just thought oh the uh, worst they'd see oh that's a cool name and just go about their business i didn't mm-hmm. it didn't even occur to me that that was a possibility and now that it did i won't i'm preaching to every talent that i'm friends with and i run into do get that shit locked down mm-hmm. like if this works for you and this this is something you can make money with lock it down mm-hmm. because it could easily happen to anybody else yeah like they could do cheap imitations or they could do ripoffs of it but they can't take your yeah thing yeah so it's like just like they, they, they couldn't take razor they couldn't take diesel over you know, it still blo- it still boggles my mind that WWE ended up with Dudley Boys somehow. You know, yeah, I don't like, understand I, how that happened. Yeah, it's I like, I think the Dudley Boys are because the Dudley Boys were a registered trademark with ECW, and they yeah. bought ECW. Well, they, so when they yeah. bought ECW, they got all the trademarks along with it. 
<laughs> because they were doing the, well. I guess I guess they were really working closely. Like because it wasn't wasn't, and, well, wasn't I, I, like oh no because uh, some of them didn't go through the same way. Like mm-hmm. Rhino changed his name. Yeah, <laughs> Taz changed his name. But, yeah, yeah. But actually, those were before the ECW sale, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. But they stay so, with, yeah, so, but they probably stay with it because they've had the WWE trademark for so long. It, it, yeah, what, but I, I think they also, I think they also got all the trademarks because they'd have to have distribution for like the footage and stuff like yeah, that. So yeah. if you don't own the trademarks for like releasing DVDs or putting stuff on the network. Like, mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. well, I guess it goes along with it. It, 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 and you wonder like why were they attached to a company like that? But you remember like the Dudleys and Taz and were like hands on in like merchandising in the backstage. So I guess that kind of makes sense <coughs> that they got sort of looped in with something like that. Right. Yeah, but did, didn't they, come, they came in when ECW was still, they were, they were kind of treading water and probably on life support, but they came in before ECW was even bought up by WWE and they were the Dudley boys. Mm-hmm. So did they have some mm-hmm. deal with Paul? Mm-hmm. To be able to use the name within that company, like it transferred over, right? Yeah, yeah, because that, that that doesn't really track either. So right. just, but wait, I, was it was it boys? Now I'm thinking, was it boys with a with an S or a Z? Because mm. <coughs> it might have it might have been one of those things where they were still called the Dudley Boys, mm-hmm. but in ECW, like it was with a Z, and with in WWE, it was a, it was an S. You know what? It, that that all mighty S and Z, it's always a it's always a slippery. well. It's a, it's the difference between Rhino and uh, Rhino in ECW was Rhino, <laughs> Rhino and Rhino. Right. <laughs> did you talk to Rhino or did you talk to Rhino? <laughs> but I mean, it's a difference. What is, which is the C sign? <laughs> oh, I got the WWE. Tri- I got the WWE signing. It's like yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's wild. Um, I mean, I'm still amazed that we see like. I mean, everybody were wa- okay. Everybody except Finn, uh, <laughs> we, that we're watching here tonight on Super Tuesday, are, are guys that got to keep their name over the uh, from 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 the Indies. So, but uh, and I'm pretty sure most of them are not their. I know at least one is their actual name. So, yeah, Finn got in right at the tail end of them still making you change your name. Like Punk was a weird one that got through somehow. I think, and I think that was a Paul thing. Yeah, because Paul was such an advocate for him that. I think it just kind of he kind of battered them to death, but yeah, Finn came into that era with Owens and Sammy and all those guys, and just right. I can't think. I can't think who like when that trend changed or when that became less of a thing. Because mm-hmm. uh, I remember like I don't know Joe, AJ, like those guys came in without even question. Mm-hmm. They got to keep their names, and I don't know. Well, I think I think you look at AJ. AJ was well. I wonder if well, AJ Styles is just his name for the most part. Roughly, yeah. And he's probably trademarked it a long time ago. Uh, yeah. To yeah, AJ made I, yeah. I, I do wonder obviously Al Generico, they didn't want to use that necessarily. Mm-hmm. So there's a new name there. Uh, uh, uh Owens, like maybe Ring of Honor had Steen locked down for maybe. some reason. Maybe. You know, you no. never know. Yeah, well I think they I think they just wanted him to have a gimmick name, but Mm-hmm. He, but they let him pick it, so it was something that was meaningful to him, at least. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of course, uh, we got uh, Owens after the, uh, Owen Hart, correct? Right. So yeah. I don't know. Well, and his son, and his son. That's right. That's right. Who is who is technically named after Owen Hart? Yeah, Owen Owens. Now, I don't know if that's. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, Steen's a real name too, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, let me double check on that. Matt, you were saying? I was saying, I don't know if that's like a hunter call, maybe. Like, if he feels someone has enough name value to where their name alone mm-hmm. would bring eyes on the product. Like, I saw Dave in the comments uh, mention that Nakamura kept his. Mm-hmm. Like, you bring in a Shinsuke Nakamura, who's yeah. got, who's at that point was one of the hottest talents in the world. Are you going to bring him in and change his name? It's his real name. Um, That's also his actual name. Kevin so. Owens is actually Kevin Steen. Right. 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 Yeah. So um, so that that seems even a little bit weirder that you didn't use something like that. Right. Unless they didn't like, I don't know, the vibe of what he was doing at Ring of Honor because he was like, wasn't well, he, he, I mean, when you do have a shirt that says "Kill Steen, Kill," that's what maybe yeah, that's what we're separating from. Because I mean, you yeah. just have they probably don't want fans showing up with that, and yeah, yeah, because you know fans would have just like found those, right? 
like like on back stock or something like that. So uh it's strange. It's strange. Um Oscar had to change her name too, but at least they they acknowledged that one on TV. <coughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and they did with um uh Kenta as well. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. like he came in as Kenta and says, I am now known as this in honor of such and such. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. so I mean, they, I like when they, they at least observe or recognize that there's a change. So, yeah. um, you know, that's a, there is heavy machinery outside right now, by the way. I, oh, I, yeah. I heavy machinery's outside? Oh, yeah. Is, outside? is Mandy oh, with him? Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy! So you knew that was gonna happen. I know I didn't, I, or else I wouldn't have said it that way. So, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> um, but Tucky, uh, hey Tucky, you want to be on podcast, Tucky? I just don't know how much is coming over the the microphones or or what the dog is reacting to everything right now. I so, don't hear anything. You know, okay, it's the that's exit good. Pulling, it's, it, it, it's the exit pulling, Sorg. It's it's the exit pulling is happening outside. It's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's rolling over the street right now. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go yell on the shut up when we go to our break here in a little bit. But uh, <laughs> so, anyways, Anywho. actually, you know what? It's probably a good time to do that. For, so, but first, I want to give you a shout out. Uh, oh, now they're beeping. That's fantastic. <laughs> We're only a podcast studio over here. Anyways. Oh, are we right back thing. to that gimmick where you're yelling at someone that's off screen that doesn't exist? No, they exist. <laughs> they're there. They're there. Sure. Sure they are. Sure they you are. know who's sure. definitely there? Our good friends up the street at Slice on Broadway. Three locations. <laughs> Beachview, Carnegie, and the East End p- supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni and pizza. I know not everybody's nearby. I know I know, I know. know everybody's not, not in the city. But if you are, please support our friends over there. Please uh, get your Slice on Broadway as you're uh, checking out your rental Bill and Ted face of music. I don't know. It was a ad over there. Uh, <laughs> but it's a good movie, by the way, too. It was, it was solid. It was, I liked it. I did. I liked it. Uh, but no, please support our friends, SliceOnBroadway.com, uh, and uh, support them, and thank you them for supporting the show. You guys are going to check out a uh, quick message here, and we will be right back with the big question, and we're going to get the Riz a throat lozenge. Wrestling Mayhem Show Part Two. Of course, Matt Connard, the Death Dealer, oh. still with us. 
Ah, he's, he's tired. It's just the, the sleep dealer, apparently, right now. <laughs> okay, over there. The pillow dealer. The pillow dealer. <laughs> no, that's controversial these days. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the pillow. Uh, it's just, I'll have to cancel that trademark. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Put through. a hold on that one. Give a call to Gavel right now. Yeah. Uh, oh, we didn't even mention. Okay, we'll, t- we'll talk about that in a moment because there's some other news from Friends of the Show mm. of a legal nature that I forgot about. But, uh, but the Riz is with us as well as the rest of our crew. But the Riz has something special. Before we get to a big question, what did you discover that exists? The WWE joke book. The joke book. This is a thing that was printed. It's actually printed. It's for money. People actually buy this. Oh, it's seven bucks on Amazon. Oh, no. It was released this January as well. Is this going to be another thing we have to buy? Uh, yeah, that, I mean, I'm I'm already thinking about buying it. Oh, are there other ones too? What is this? How to be a WWE superstar? Oh, I've I mm-hmm. okay. You need oh, that. You need three, that. Three, I could have used that when I was twelve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So right. People could still use it now that just got out of training. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Riz, tell us a joke. Uh, I want to find a good one here for you for the first time. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah, hit us, hit, hit us strong with this one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Uh, yeah, I'll do that one. I'll do this one. I'll okay. do this one. Just put a finger on it. I did a thing. I put my finger on it. What do you call Nia Jax when she has three eyes? Ooh. Hmm. It's so fucking stupid. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Remember, this is for children. The eye movable force? No? No. Darn. Anyone have a guess? No. No. Hit us. Nye, I, I, uh, Jax. I as soon as as soon as you said I was wrong, the, I immediately put it together in my head. What the fuck? Oh my god! This is Nye, f- I, 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 all right. Hold on, I'm taking that out of my cart. By the way, I got I got I got I got to point out that how to be a WWE superstar is a DK readers level two. So, <laughs> excellent. I just... there's also uh, WWE tag teams and team ups. Oh, Can no. I do one more? Uh, Can yeah. I redeem myself? I yes. I get better. I I don't have Can I much faith in this, this but go ahead. Why do WWE superstars' fingers hurt? <laughs> I'm glad it's a kids' book. Oh, wow. Uh, depends on which ones. I have a whole bunch of answers for that. <laughs> yeah, they're probably not kid no. appropriate. No. Um, the answer is because the rings are square. <laughs> Get it? Because the square, and the, the ring. Oh, what? Boy. That's great. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm buying this book. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what are you reading from? Is it like? Did you like oh, that? What? I looked it up. Image. I I Google image that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I already knew this existed. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to share it with the world. Oh no! Oh no! We got somebody's gonna get paid for that. That's unfortunate. Mass mass knock knock jokes are better. (laughs) (laughs) From the chat. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, um, oh jeez. I'm sorry. I'm glad I. I I'm glad that this show is now off the rails because of that Mm -hmm. one joke. Mm -hmm. It's Mm -hmm. not off the rails. It's come to a crashing halt, and I don't know if we can recover from. Uh, I had a big question, and I don't know, it's it's as close as I Thank could get you. right now. Oh. Right now is a four-way Iron Man match, and I I don't know that I, I've seen that. I've seen a three-way casket match once, um, so uh, several times. What? Which underground had one? Oh, they did. Did what? Yeah, they had a three-way casket match. Yeah, with Jeremiah Snake. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The, the stupidest name. <laughs> <laughs> All wrestling. 
Take like, it. I love the character. I love the story. But Jeremiah Snake. He's doing some movements while that's happening, too. So, yeah. Um, yeah. so I, I, I just that's thought... That's for the ladies. I don't know. It's kind of an easy one. Maybe it's a softball tonight. But what other uh, gimmick matches would you like to see as four ways, perhaps? Or f- far too many people than you thought should be in it, perhaps. So... Uh, yeah, any any thoughts? Any thoughts? Gimmick matches as you know what? Fuck it, Royal Rumble. Four <laughs> rings. Oh, four rings. Four. four. So I thought you were gonna ring. say Royal Rumble four with four. Oh, you were gonna say Royal Rumble with four people? <laughs> no, we've had that. <laughs> what? No. Oh, we no, have uh, had that. Yeah. Four rings, one person to each ring. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Hey, you know what? If you have the right people, that can be a hell of a What match. can we make yeah. more obscene, right? I... <laughs> uh, no, serious. Um, four-way match. Um, oh, God. NXT Fight Pit. Let's do mm. that. Let's do that. NXT Fight Pit four-way match. I like that. Let's get, like, Timothy Thatcher, Bronson, Oni Lorcan, Danny Birch, and... Candice LeRae. Okay. Okay. Because why wow. not? <laughs> Very specific. I know. Now you want to see it, right? Do it. <laughs> now you want to see it. There are three minutes left in this match. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> polls are almost closed. Polls are almost closed. We have a four-way tie. We're waiting for it. Are you ready to see four man, four men share a belt? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brazzers logo. Brazzers logo. <laughs> Four men, one belt. Um, oh, okay. Uh, anyways, anyone else got any takers? Matt, you got any? I don't know. I like my matches to be simple, and and the whole concept of me trying to make matches more complicated just goes against my better judgment. Maybe like, I don't know. Maybe like a four-way buried alive match. Okay. Like that's chaotic. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Um, three plots. Yeah, three plots. Yeah. One man lives. Wait, wait, you were in a <laughs> tag team buried alive, which I think is the first that I've seen, right? I was. Yeah. And it is as complicated as you oh. think it is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we have breaking news. We have, well, oh, wait, wait, oh, we have breaking news. We're a movie news. sign. Pulls are closed. Pulls are closed. Pulls are closed. 100% precincts reported. Uh. And as our exit polling indicated earlier in the night, Finn, Finn Balor, is that his name? Finn Balor. Burgle. Finn Balor, we're going to put the, we're, we're, the, uh, the WMS election desk is, the, is projecting Finn Balor is the winner of tonight's contest. Okay. All this is uh, narrowly close that uh, there may be, what, what, what's going on? Is there some sort of call for a recount now happening here? No, 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 there was nothing else there. What else happened? Wait, so we're we're gonna have to check on the other results here, Sorg. We might be uh we might be counting up some people. We're checking on, yeah. Florida. Oh. Right. All right, all right. Florida, we're checking Florida's on. Own. Check Florida oh, still. No. Florida's oh, still. oh, you got you got to check those ballots in Florida. Yeah, that's how we get into this mess. We might we might have some hanging. Uh, ch- would we anyone might... like to examine hanging chads? I, we could. Okay, uh, we'll be right. yeah, Wait, yeah, what? yeah. Check on the uh, hanging champas, and uh, we'll we'll <laughs> check in with you later. <laughs> um, right. We had a couple good suggestions in the comments about these four way matches. Oh, good. They're doing better than we are. Yeah, my. Uh, yeah, I'm glad like, you're on task. <laughs> <laughs> my my good buddy Michael Tawney from down at IWA East Coast, uh, he brought up a four way bull rope match. Oh boy! Ooh, wow. Whoa! Oh, Is it just like join oh at the? You, at the you have like a four way or... split in the middle of the rope, oh. and each person's got a part of the rope. Ooh! And one that would bell be complicated. In the middle. In one, in one cowbell in the middle. <laughs> Yeah. Jock, so Jock, so like you, Jock Samson, and a couple guys from the South, right? Yeah, pretty. Okay. Pretty, yeah. okay. Pick just pick up three other West Virginia dudes and just put them in the, <laughs> put them in the thing. There you just go. Get all, um, all four members of the West Texas Rednecks. There you go. There you go. <laughs> um, and Ruthers, uh suggested a four-way I quit match. So oh, whoa, what? Oh, 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 oh movie oh, sign. Matt. Matt, oh. what's the breaking news? Movie's on? Oh, huh. Are we? Is there something? Is Ponder's it, uh... breaking before our news is. Come is on, that... Matt. He's going to get mad God. at us again. This is why I get my news from the internet and not your TV personalities. <laughs> you know what the internet does? The internet says whatever the 
cricket wants to say, you know what a real news organization does? They check, they verify to find out what happened. Okay, so here's what we're going to We are going to a runoff. This is literally what's happening here on Happy for Tuesday. We are going to a runoff. There was a late surge. I think it came from some of the rural counties uh, for Bay Bay. And uh, now we have, uh, they are within the margin. Uh, they'll probably count the absentee ballots, but I don't think there are enough absentee ballots to make up the difference. So it appears we are going to a runoff, and the runoff election is going to be held when? When is it? When are we holding the runoff election? Tuesday. I'm... Next Tuesday? Super Tuesday 2? Super Tuesday? Super Tuesday. Super Tuesday. 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 Super yeah. Tuesday. Taboo Tuesday? Yes! We'll Taboo Tuesday! For the runoff. Wow. Back to you. Wow, wow. Oh, that I is history wait, making. Wow. Cole. So, Sork, you were wondering how we do absentee ballots. We wait another week. <laughs> That's how we do it. Oh, boy. We're learning so much tonight. Uh, anybody else have any takers on this, on this big question? Uh, yeah. Uh, before we move on to, to being yeah, educated. I got one. Okay, go for it. So it's kind of in the same vein. Um, um five-way casket match. The caskets are outside the ring. Well, it's just, just four caskets, each well, one. Here's the thing. Elimination if there's, style. If there's more than one casket, is this... Okay, it's elimination style. Well, that makes yeah, sense. I was, yeah. was going to yeah. say, let's make it interesting. One casket. One casket, five One men. casket, and just stuff everybody in the casket. Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. Okay. make it All right. interesting. You know let's, let's make it, it. Let's uncomfortable. Let's sign it right now. Let's do it. You know what? Let me just take this opportunity to, to just shit all over this good time. <laughs> good time! <laughs> and suggest... <laughs> This is just the match we're all thinking about. A fatal four-way Pujami prison match. I am here for it. I'm in. I'm in. I am here for it. Everybody I'm wants in. it. Everyone wants it. Everyone needs it. I yeah, feel like this is the it. match suggestion equivalent of the jokes he told earlier where I just killed the show. <laughs> oh, no. You, you, he, no, you just... He, no, 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 no. You, you notice, you notice it's... It's great Kali heads that are being dropped by Riz <laughs> over on Twitch. Okay? Like, that's... Yeah. Like, you don't know the sweet spot that you hit. Uh, apparently. You know, I had to console the man when great Kali got canceled from Big Thai Wrestling in, like, what was that, Altoona or something? Mm. We got... That was, like, a did. few... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> was going to happen. That was going to happen. I let Riz sit here on the call and talk to his facade just because he spent time with the great Kali in India. That cause <laughs> it was like, right. like we figured that's as close as he was probably going to get. I didn't know. Guys, uh, I didn't know it was scratching a specific itch. But... Oh, you, you <laughs> scratched hey. an itch. You scratched the hole. You scratched. Hey, for... <laughs> you scratched the bugs. You, scr you didn't scratch an itch. You scratched the hole. <laughs> 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 that works on so many levels. Oh, it's so Do good. Not... For that, for that, this is gonna leave the show. <laughs> for that, gonna leave... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? He's gonna leave the show. No, <laughs> just because of that. <laughs> Why were Gene Oakland's pants always so angry? No! Oh no, because <laughs> they were mean jeans. <laughs> See, that's a yep. way better joke than the other that's two. That's a really good. Way better joke. joke. That's a that fantastic a good joke. joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I oh. redeemed myself. Oh, I'm crying. I'm crying. Not for the reasons you think. Um, oh. uh, you okay over there? I'll, I'll okay. live. Okay. Mm. All right. Sorry. 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 Uh, can we clip out that bit and send it to Dutters? Oh, already yeah. on the note here over here. It's already gone. Um, it's already, already on note good. over here. Good. Ah. Just, just, you know, um, brighten her day. Yeah, She'll absolutely, it. absolutely. It'll be great. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay. Before we get to uh, uh, our educational piece, uh, because we didn't, I wanted to mention in the first half. Uh, but good news for our friend G Raver. Yeah. Hey. He won his case against one Jim Cornette. Uh, fuck Jim Cornette. You fuck Jim Cornette. There you go. Motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> That's good. You son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn yarders. <laughs> Mud show bullshit. That is, that is rivaling a Joe Dombrowski impression. I mean, I'm, I'm, wow. just, I'm just ripping off Bruce Pritchard, basically, because that's his impression. Oh, I, that's where I've heard that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, 
But uh, yeah, so he, he, he went over that. Um, there was a good breakdown that I, I put there in the group. Um, I believe our, our good friend, um, your lord, <laughs> you, Matt's lawyer and yours, uh, the gavel <laughs> David Lawless presided over that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so another victory there. <laughs> You know, it, you know, it is amazing how many people I hear was like, you know, that he's helped with in the wrestling business legitimately. Like it's 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 pretty phenomenal. How many times I heard like, oh, yeah, Gavel looked it over, you know, so. he's the go to guy. He's the only legitimate lawyer we know. Yeah, and I'm sure LaRusso will take great yeah. offense to that. But it's true. <laughs> Oh jeez, uh, but uh, no, good good news for that, and uh, it was kind of a bullshit thing. So uh, good vibes out to uh, to G Raver. Here's the thing about Raver; he's way sm- <clears throat> excuse me, he's way smarter than I think Cornette gave him credit for. Because mm-hmm. like Raver would not have approached this whole like pursue pursued this whole thing just out of spite. Mm-hmm. Like if he didn't know he had a good case there. Yeah, and I'm so I'm really happy for him because. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Fuck Jim Cornette. Fuck Jim you, Cornette. You need, to go, you need to go get a drink or uh, something. That's how upset I am okay. about it. I'm worked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Jim Raver's a good guy. Uh, uh, whatever you think of his uh, uh, outward persona, I guess, in wrestling. And obviously, I think that's what Cornette was uh, kind of going at uh, there. So uh, there was an odd point where, and I actually asked somebody that worked as a paralegal today, because the, the, the thread that I included, every time it was a, uh, you know, it says, fuck Jim Cornette. And and, and um, for some reason they're all like re- retyped as Tuck in the in the sub- in what was submitted by yeah. one of the sides. Yeah. And I'm like, is this why would they? Is there a reason? Did they like, type it on their iPhone? It's, it's, yeah, it sounds like it's yeah. a typo, but it did it at least three times in one paragraph. <coughs> it's just like, what is this? This parallel so, is very sensitive to the word fuck. Yeah. 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 I can't even like, type I wonder, it. Tuck. Yeah. I, I <laughs> wonder if tuck. that's their way of covering i feel like like uh, Like uh, just not putting that in a legal document i feel like there have been far worse words in a legal document yeah yeah, especially when you're going over evidence i mean do you recall when they read uh the president's uh uh uh, uh, retellings uh back in the 90s so that was awfully awkward and bleeped a little bit we learned we learned a lot of new sexual terms in the late nineties thanks oh, to the president. Oh yeah. So <laughs> it was I, I, I it was a watch there was some kind of documentary on decades or something. I was just like I don't remember it being this graphic. Uh, so, I don't either. Uh, anyways, Any I, oh I didn't have cable, so maybe that's why. So I didn't learn a lot of things <laughs> growing up. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> if you need to go get a watch, I'm fine. You're, you're fine. You're just gonna power you're just gonna power through it. All right. Well, we got an assignment last week by Professor Jacob Edwin, and uh, that assignment was Finn Balor against AJ Styles, a surprise match at TLC 2017. Uh, It's cracking me up over here. Uh, uh, it It was a great surprise match when it happened, and it was a pleasure to watch back at it. And I think this was the last time that we saw the Demon. I feel like this is the last time we saw the demon uh, back then. Um, uh, no, I no. You, I think you might be right. No, no, he was he was at WrestleMania. Was he? Uh, get, yeah, I was there. Who? Mania in New York. Who did he work at Mania? Uh, Samoa. Uh, no, no. Um, I know it was someone. Uh, well, I know it was someone. I would hope. Um, hold on, hold on. Googling and also thinking. Checking out the WrestleMania brain. Um, that wasn't the yeah, three way yeah. with Seth and Lashley. He worked. Oh Lashley. yeah, that's right. Lashley. Mm. Was, was he Lashley. demon then? Yeah. Lashley. Yeah, it was Lashley for the IC title because he actually beat Lashley what? with like um, power moves and shit. Oh, oh okay. yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah, the demon entrance was very lackluster. That's probably yeah. why you don't remember it. And, um, and for being also, for being WrestleMania, yeah, they could have gone all out and did not. Yeah. yeah, that's unfortunate. Because the set at Mania that year was just a giant LED board. Yeah, I'm looking at a uh, fan cam actually right now of it. That's the first thing that came up for me. So um, that's unfortunate. Well, it was the last memorable. You're right. <laughs> the demon. Uh, but this was a dream match. A match that I know they said on commentary at least. 
uh, that this did not happen, I believe, in Japan. Well, I think they were on the same team at Bullet Club in Japan, so I guess they wouldn't have faced each other for the most part. Well, they weren't there at the same time. Oh, oh, AJ came in when Finn left, right? Yeah. Like, he yeah. was kind of the replacement. It was literally the rotating door of Finn out, <coughs> AJ in. Mm-hmm. So, so they never even stood on the same side. So I think the, the allure of this literally being a first-time thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. helped with it. And I don't remember why Bray had to get off, uh, had to remove himself from the show. Like, it wasn't it a um, they were going to do I, Demon versus Sister Abigail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it was, was it Demon or was it Pumpkin King? It was Pumpkin King versus it, Demon. Well, Demon Pumpkin. It was the yeah. Great Pumpkin. Girl, it was though. the Great That's Pumpkin. Finn Balor. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, wasn't that the wasn't that the pay per view where everyone had like liver enzyme issues or something? Yeah, like? I do think it's the liver enzyme uh, you know scheduled. What? Yeah, he was he was removed from the match card due to a viral infection, according That's right. to Wikipedia. There were, there were, I think Reigns got it. I think JoJo got it. Mm-hmm. Bray mm-hmm. got it. Yeah, there were a handful of people. Yeah, um, because uh, they threw in Kurt Angle to that main event. That's right. With the she <laughs> was yeah, uh, and he was the most awkward <laughs> member. <laughs> Yep, yep. He was uh, a current angle shield member for was, one night. It was night. like a dad wearing his hat sideways. Just <laughs> so like, awkward. Hey, how do you do, fellow shield members? Hey, guys, I am also in the shield. <laughs> it was an odd night, but that was definitely probably the highlight out of that. Um, so, what did you guys think of the match? I, I, I it was, it was, uh, it, it was fantastic. It was tremendous. Yeah. It was tremendous. Yeah, it was great. I mean, um. Yeah, there's, not, there's not a whole lot to say, but like if it's it's AJ Styles and Finn Balor, like mm-hmm. you're gonna get a good match out of it. Even it, like what's more interesting to me is how they got AJ there. Mm-hmm. Like I forget which documentary it was. I want to say maybe AJ three sixty five mm. or something like that. I think it but was. they did a whole documentary where they like he told he told the cameras what it took to get him there. Where did like, he, I, think, I think he got there like at bell time for the show. Where did he fly from? Were they in South Africa? I feel or like it was Japan. Japan. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like he flew all night straight there. And then, yeah. Yeah. Like it's, it's such a, like match aside, more people need to praise him for that sort of work ethic. Mm-hmm. Like just being gung ho to, fly straight from another country, probably not sleeping at all, if barely, and coming in there, putting on that quality of a match. Mm-hmm. Like, AJ's such a workhorse, especially at that age. Um, Yeah, no, I mean, I don't have a ton to say about the match either. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, there were a lot of cool moments in it. Like, there was, there was the moment where AJ cut, <clears throat> cuts him off, Finn goes for the dive, and AJ slides in, and it – it's not a close. It was almost just like a body block. Mm-hmm. Like, so, so, like, it knocked my breath out. Like, <laughs> I lost my wind looking at it because it was just like, pow, so solid. Um, uh, I'm always amazed when, because um, uh, Finn does the, it was the coup de gras at the time, yes. the, the double stomp. <laughs> and uh, you, you could tell when, like, you know, I don't, I don't want his trust or whatever it is, but when it he, he delivers that and it just like, he lands right straight on your gut in that thing. Yeah. And it was straight on for this. And I, you know, I, I, I know something happened with that too, but like, it looks so absolutely brutal sometimes. Like it wasn't anything where he landed, then he falls on his back. Like, yeah, it's or, just yeah, like, nope. Or, or the feet like s- kind of slide off to the side. So you don't really get an impact. It was just like, it's like he stuck the landing mm-hmm. and just let it sit there. Yep. Here I am right on your <laughs> liver. Uh, <laughs> Because it was like the stomach, but off to the side too. Which is like, ooh, um, that's the soft part. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it always, it always like. I wonder how many times Finn has hit that move, and the person that he has hit the move on like regrets the dinner they had right before the match, yeah, and just, yeah. like, just like shits their pants. <laughs> Uh, that's that's i'm sure it's happened i guarantee it's happened that's like that's one of those moves where your your fate is completely in their hands and they could totally if they like you take care of you and not they could just murder you Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. yoko and his bonsai Mm -hmm. like if yoko liked you cool if not 
Or when Jeff Hardy <laughs> came back and he was not mm. giving a crap about that swan yeah. song. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just going to lay on you. We were like, listen, man, this is going to suck. Here's my, here's my body. <laughs> or, or like, uh, like uh, I've also heard that there's something like that with Jeff Hardy now, too. Mm. When, when he does the swanton. Mm. Like, if Jeff, like... Oh. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. doesn't get enough rotation on it. They call it the crouton. Yeah. Because it's just like everything crouton. landing back on chest. That's right. <laughs> it gets gross sometimes. It's just like, oof. That's, you can tell. You can <laughs> tell. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, no, yeah, it was a... It was a uh, and once again, just looking around it, um, it was interesting to see. One, this was a Raw era pay-per-view, like a Raw exclusive when we did that for a while. When they were still trying to convince us they were going to stick to it. Yeah, yeah. Once yeah. again, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so it was a big deal because I think AJ was a SmackDown guy. And also, mm-hmm. also Kurt, while he was in that match, was also at the time the general manager of the same uh, side of things. So yeah. uh, it, it, it was just wild to see that back then. Booker T on the commentary. Miss you, Booker. Oh, mm, do we? Do we? I do. Do we? I know? do. Quacky, I don't. Quack, quacky, quacky. What do you say? Quacky, Shucky, ducky, quack, quack. quack. Shucky, ducky, quack, you, quack. You don't miss him that much if you can't get the gimmick right. It's a, I listen, man. I, I need more coffee. Come on. It's been a long show. <laughs> we we have breaking news. We have we had a hiccup scare. We have. Oh my god. Was... <laughs> Glad to see you're doing better. Yeah, Glad much better, better now. I've recovered. Um, um, we had jokes. We had jo- no, well, that's still questionable. Well, that's that's, that's uh, debatable. Questionable. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> um, my biggest thing about that match going into it, I knew AJ wasn't going to lose. Because mm-hmm. at that point, you pretty much knew the demon was was indestructible, and yeah, you know. So I was, I went and going, this is going to be a good match, but I know how it's going to end. Mm-hmm. So that, which is weird because the demon had lost. Like the demon lost to Joe on Finn's way out of NXT. Yeah, but that's mm. NXT. Yeah, yeah, it's an undefeated in WWE thing, and NXT don't count. Yeah, kind of situation. That's one so. of it's one of those things. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> so, uh, I do miss the fan interaction of his uh, intros. I thought it was one of the greatest things at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, See, so yeah, I mean, it was always um, just like seeing an entire crowd do the yes thing in mo- in in motion. Right, like. Being there, watching a whole crowd throw their hands up for that that uh, music, mm-hmm. um, is just was always like one of the really cool moments for those. So yeah, it's just it's one of those things that I I don't think we're gonna get again anytime soon, and it's just a it's a nice thing to think about. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm glad we have these shows on the network where we can go back and watch moments like that and be like, oh, I remember that. Mm-hmm. I remember when people could actually be together. <laughs> Big oh. rooms. Oh. And not on screens. Not on screens. Not on screens with Mad Mike and Riz. Mad Mike and Riz. Um, and miming, Omega. clapping, Mime. so I don't wake up anybody in the hell. <laughs> <laughs> what the point? You're, did you point at the screen? <laughs> yeah. What is that? Oh, Braun yeah. Strowman. I see you. I see you, Braun. No, it's like pointing it's at the like, screen to make sure the like, they know somebody's behind them. You did the yeah. mystery. Oh boy, oh boy! Hi, audio listeners. Well, do we want? We should probably get our assignment. Um, and uh, I understand. I, I got it. I got a video and a note here, and uh, it was all rather confusing. So let me uh, let me let me just cue that up here real quick here, and uh, let's let's see. Let's all. Whoa! Something's playing. Oops! That video from WrestleMania that's uh, bootlegged is still playing in the background. Okay, <laughs> let's not get taken down by that one. Uh, we clear? We're clear. Okay, let's go see what our lesson is in for this week, right about now ish. Wait for it. Oh, hello, Wrestling Mayhem Show. I didn't see you there. Excuse me. <laughs> Just doing a bit of. Light reading. I've come to find out that your professor uh, has neglected on his duties, and your uh, your teaching in this matter has been, shall we say, lackluster. Uh, my name is Mad Mike Moody, and I shall be your new professor. As you can see, I have my accreditation right here, and I am here. To instruct you on the true classics 
in professional wrestling. Now, I, I'm, I was, t from your teacher's notes, I saw you just watched a match between Finn Balor and AJ Styles. And while that's all well and good, and those men are fantastic athletes, um, I feel remiss that you have not been instructed in one of the greatest, considered by many, uh, professional women's wrestling matches of all time. So, your assignment this week is to travel all the way back to the year 2010. I know that seems like a long time ago for some of you youngsters out there, but trust me, there were times that were much better than this. And women's wrestling was at its peak. And I want you to go to SummerSlam 2010. And the match you are going to be watching, a true classic, a testament to everything that is women's wrestling. That would be Melina versus Alicia Fox. Yes. Two veterans at the top of their game. And... Honestly, I really do hope you watch this match and enjoy it and take notes. You don't have to put your phone away. I can trust you to multitask. We're all multitaskers. It's 2020. If you're not multitasking by now, then you're, you're just frankly out of the game. But again, this has been Mad Mike Moody, your new professor. Thank you. I don't. I I, heard, I I trust I trust this new I trust this new professor. You, but, but, but I, so, so Jacob Edwin is on a parent a parent sabbatical He's, right now. And you know what? You saw his you saw his uh, plaque, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was told to put, post it on Instagram today. Yeah, yeah. I saw it. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, it said master. Of, it said master of science in pro wrestling. That's I, almost a doctorate. Yeah. Exactly. I mean. It? Is Granted, that how that works? The, the, the only doctor in pro wrestling is the doctor of thugonomics, I mean, let's be honest. I but, mean, I, I, I have to admit, there's more credentials than I've seen than every uh, professor and doctor in professional wrestling yeah. that I'm aware of locally. Since Dean Douglas. So, since Dean yeah, Douglas. Exactly. Oh. And and, and we'll, we'll say Dr. Britt Baker. We know she's accredited. <clears throat> that is she true. Do we count Dr. Death, though? Um, I don't know. I don't know if he's actually ever killed someone. So I don't trust his... Um, his authority in that. Is this, some is this one made. of those, I'm not a doctor, but I played one on TV kind of things? Okay, that's fair. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Like House. I get it. <laughs> like House. Yeah. Uh, it's not. But it, uh, I, I inherently trust this guy. Oh. I, I feel like. You have, you have uh, good vibes from this one? Yeah. Yeah. I okay. mean. Okay. And plus, he seemed to treat us with respect. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. He, he, he respects us. He respects us. <laughs> yeah. It's good to know. All right. Well, yeah. But he was a substitute. It was, uh, mm, hey, you know what? It's September. The school year is starting, and Jacob Edwin nowhere to be found. Mm. That's true. Mm. Nowhere to be found. Just like, like he didn't. He didn't even leave a note. Did he leave a note, Sorg? That he, I don't know. That he, he was skipping uh, town. There was a reference. Did he have? Did he have a, did he have a written was, excuse? A written excuse mm -hmm. from a doctor. I don't think I'd you like to show your I'd students. I'd like to see that. a doctor's note. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, we'll see what we can <laughs> Please do. Please don't hurt us. We're going to see what... what? <laughs> oh, one time he's going to be back on the show. We'll see. We'll see. All right, guys. Staying with your he education. Call me Rizzo the rat once. What's it's that? not fair. He did call yeah, exactly. He doesn't respect you, Riz. I, no. thought, I, I thought Rizzo the rat was like a term of endearment. I thought he's just like a really big Muppets fan. But yeah. If Tell me more, really, Sorg. I mean, Muppets are cool now. They have a new show on Disney+. Plus. Tell me more. Not a sponsor. Like like, did he have a car? What? Did who have a car? Riz said, tell me more. Yeah. It's okay. Let, let's just move on. Let's just move on. Well, at least we have our assignment for next I will. Week. I will read another read another joke if you keep going. If you don't keep going. Hey, what did you learn from wrestling this <laughs> week? I learned wrestling jokes maybe don't work out so well. Wrap it up. Uh, wrap it, yeah, well, yeah, wrap, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Trust wrap me. it up, B. Wrap Trust that me, shit up. The ones that aren't on google images right now they're even worse oh no oh no 
Um, um, uh, Matt, what did you learn from wrestling this week? <sighs> Should oh I come back God. to you? Come back to oh me. Oh, my God. I found a whole page. Yeah. Oh, oh my God! Uh, it's it is. What did Hulk Hogan ask in arts and crafts class? No, 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 no. What you gonna glue, brother? Oh no! Oh, I really that hate. Hurts. Hey, to be yeah. fair, that's the best Hulk Hogan joke you can tell. <laughs> the cleanest. <laughs> the cleanest. Yeah, the one that won't get us kicked off the internet. Mad Mike, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Um, I learned that WWE has finally fixed Roman Reigns. Fixed uh, the including his teeth. Fixed. Did Roman Did, visit Brie, like, Britt Baker? Like fixed? Fix, no, or... like no, like fixed his character. Like <clears throat> oh, I thought you meant like we got cheers for a Roman Reigns championship win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He wasn't wearing a vest. Mm-hmm. I'll be surprised if he ever wears that vest again. Mm-hmm. Like the way they booked Roman Reigns at Payback was perfection. Mm-hmm. It was absolutely perfection. I don't know the legality of signing a contract once a match has begun. Mm-hmm. I, I think I think we'd have, we'd have to leave that to uh, to the legal eagles of the Wrestling Mayhem show. We'll call but, it. We'll call, know, it, we'll call it gavel next week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. But um, otherwise, such a perfectly done match. Like it was. It was fi- the only thing that was wrong with that was that Roman almost fell out of the ring because he forgot the ropes weren't up. <laughs> did you notice that yeah 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 yeah, yeah. there's yeah. a lot there's yeah. a there's a lot it, it screwed a lot of people up that day by the way leave charles robinson alone he's a damn yeah leave him alone yeah, yeah. Leave him alone yeah. the guy in that the last man time. is almost 60 yeah yeah little yeah. nage little, little nage did amazing yes we need to stop calling him little nage he's old nage at this point well little old nage. little old nage right? yeah okay little, little old nage okay because old nage is still nage uh, yeah. No, he's Charlotte's dad. Come on, that's true. That's <laughs> yeah. his gimmick. <laughs> Riz, what did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that um, well, one, fuck Jim Cornette, and two, uh, that whenever, unless it's unless it's Brock Lesnar, whenever Paul Heyman has some sort of advocate, other than Brock Lesnar. He looks like he is in love. <laughs> so I don't know if it's because Brock Lesnar is well. First of all, Brock Lesnar's a free agent now, so we might I see look, him on. I look in, forward to him, uh, Brock versus Orange Cassidy. Yes. Oh, so we, we might we might oh, see geez. him on IndieWrestling.us. <laughs> but Brock Lesnar, we don't have that. You never kind know. Of budget. You never know. So nope. Nope. You never hey, know. Hey Patreon. <laughs> Maybe update a little. <laughs> the Bro- uh, Brock Lesnar tier is a thousand dollars a minute. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Basically. Basically. <laughs> just just hand us a blank check. We'll yeah. deal. We'll do the rest. Or um, and or hand us the movie blank check, <laughs> <laughs> which is probably like five dollars. Honestly, it's a great movie. It was good. It was good. Good time will be had by all. Good times. Um. But yeah. Uh. Look at how he looked at, you know, Ryback, Cesaro, Punk, Roman. <laughs> they all have this. I'm sorry. Like, I just saw Curtis Edric. Axel. I just saw Edric. Hold on. I was going to say, don't you dare forget Curtis Axel. Hold on. No, 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 no. The, the behind, genesis no, no, no. of the Guys, McGillicuddy. Behind Riz, um, behind Riz is Edric throwing somebody out of the movie theater and locking the door behind them. And it just cracked me up. Yep. <laughs> it just... <laughs> Just distracted me from whatever's going on, but <laughs> wow! Just... Thanks, Sorg. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for even paying attention, Sorg. I, just, I was paying attention, and that's right over your shoulder, and it just completely distracted me. Sorg, so... Sorg was paying too much attention. <laughs> I'm producing over here, man. I'm producing. <laughs> what did John Cena say at the? Say he no, when he ate no, at the Japanese no, restaurant. No, 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 um, no, no. You can't no, sushi. No. No, no, no. Close. No. Ah. You can't you suck can't... me? Yes. Yes. I got it. That's what you get, Sorg. <laughs> you did this to yourself, Sorg. I'm okay with this. 
I'm sorry, Bruce, Matt. Can we, I'm Bruce, sorry. can we just do a whole mini I pod it, where I, you say these jokes I and I try to like guess this. the answers? Yes. I didn't think it'd be like yes, that. Yes, I, I do. Everything. It's, it's, I want to do yeah. that. And then, uh, <laughs> everything. Matt, 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 did you learn anything from wrestling? Not horrible jokes? Well, I learned what passes for jokes is relative. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I, I mean, I think the most important lesson to take out of wrestling this week is that lawless is truly flawless. Mm-hmm. There you go. There mm-hmm. you go. It's truly flawless. Uh, from the chat room, Matt Carlin's learned that wrestling matches like elections sometimes require weeks to decide. Pretty much. Yep. Dave Bonner of the Tiny Shutter Podcast, the Prof Pod on the Twitter, learned that Dominic's uh, SummerSlam match uh, wasn't a fluke with two good matches in this week. Um and Tina learned uh just learned that Eric Young is now the Impact World Champion. How about that? What? Hey, good there for him. Go. Hey, friend of the show. Friend of the show, Eric Young. Yes, but I can check the archives. Uh good for him. I mean, we talked to him like 12 years ago, but still, <laughs> you know, I think he was still scared <laughs> of fireworks. He is still a friend of the show. Absolutely, so. absolutely. So, um and I don't think I missed any out there. What did I learn? There's slick the yeah, doctor what did you style. Learn, Sork? What did I learn? I learned that you can put a wrestling ring about anywhere and have some good wrestling. You'll find wow. out what I mean by that probably next week. Challenge accepted? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can think of a couple places where you could put a wrestling ring and maybe not have the best. <laughs> <laughs> also, could be a fun list or big question. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, no, no, there was a there was an opportunity. Somebody had a a, a ring in a place and put it up and uh, just to see what we could do with it. And oh, uh, is that the thing? Which which thing? That's happening. Which thing that you... happened? What? Are we talking no, about? No, it's Paul okay. We're... Can you say feedback? Are we talking about polycult? So, no, no, we're not talking okay. about polycult. Something else happened. Yeah. Um, but I, but hey, let's give a shout out. Um, MV <coughs> Young, polycult, Pittsburgh polycult. I can't remember the entire. The Pittsburgh polycart two, is that, is that right? MV Poly- Young, polycult Poly- 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 two, two. Yeah. at the Pittsburgh mansion. Uh, it's happening this Saturday. Look out! It's going to be on uh, Twitch I mean, and stuff. Joshua Wells versus MV Young. Oof. Nanas. Good stuff. Lots of friends of the show are going to be on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I understand a, a reunion of the Black Hand Society, the often fabled. Mm-hmm. I know that's been talked about on the show. Yeah. You're, you're, you're smiling at that one. That is happening. Those are three of my buddies, and they're getting to do a thing. So that's right. You should go watch them. Wrestle. That's right. So that will be, um, I do believe it will be on Twitch on a donation basis. So mm-hmm. please go support that, support wrestling, support somebody who's trying to do cool and different things with wrestling. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's going to be uh, sometime this Saturday. I think there's going to be an announcement on what the final details of that uh, sooner or later there. Um, it's a pretty closed situation mm-hmm. in attendance and everything. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so mm, there's a flag going around. Check out Envy Young's Twitter for that stuff. It, uh, the first one, I think, is still up on YouTube. So go check that, too. Uh, some friends of the show on there. Lee versus Lee Moriarty versus Ziggy Heim on there. Amongst other things, ah, so Ziggy there you go, Ziggy Heim. Ziggy Heim. Uh, also, uh, keep an eye out indie wrestling us social media. We had our first of our uh, wrestling and wrestling in twenty twenty series, um, uh, kind of a quick interview series that uh, uh, Matt Carlin's actually was the brainchild of this one, uh, a brainchild of his actually, and uh, that's going to be coming up. We had uh, Zeke drop today, Ziggy Heim. You know, which yeah, is going to be dropping tomorrow, <laughs> and we had a good time. We had a good time on a on a on a on a set this weekend with uh, PB Smooth, Loss Prevention, Tatiana Rose, uh, Scarlet. Um, hey, try to interview Scarlet these days. <laughs> that gets that gets interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. I see. I see you didn't interview Ronnie Nicole. Uh, did she, you know what? The invite was out there for the green screen, and she didn't. Uh, she also doesn't live in the state, so. I think that made a difference. I mean, so. you, you didn't, you, you I, didn't I, interview her, though. I, I mean, I just, I mean, it's out there. I didn't explicitly or anything. Riz, do you want me to interview Ronnie Nicole to see if she yells at me again? Is that what you're trying to yes. do? Is Sounds that what like you're fishing. To, do I have to? You should, I, you should like, like, you should, you need to build bridges, or <sighs> Make connections. What? Build bridges. Make I, connections. I tried enemies. to make a connection, and she yelled at me. I just, why I'm did not she even, yell at you, Sork? I'm not even a part of the thing. I don't even know why. 
But uh, but uh, that that's over on fight. Sure, I think you need to reevaluate how you make connections. I apparently I apparently I'm still learning. So there you go. Um, but uh, no, Ronnie Nicole is a fantastic part of uh, Fight Underground over there. Some uh, a great match again with Scarlet and everything too. So please go check all that stuff. And I believe we do have an interview scheduled for uh, should be popping up this Friday. On Indie Mayhem show, we've been uh, we have been dropping those after SmackDown when we have them, uh, so look out for that. Uh, actually, getting a couple of them scheduled here uh, with some people doing some cool things in the area and with some of the promotions we work with. Uh, and uh, Matt Connard, where can people go find out what you're up to? Well, they can go check out my new social media handles. Yeah, hot, hot, hot. off the Twitter presses. Hot, hot off. The 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 save menu on the social medias. <laughs> um, yeah, on Twitter and Instagram, the handle is now at Death Connard, D E A T H Connard. There you go. Um, I, I need to get out of that habit. Yeah, and also, of course, if you want to go support me in these trying times, you can go to my Pro Wrestling Tees store at prowrestlingtees dot com slash Matt Connard. Over there, you can find numerous shirts including the very popular uh as my buddy edrick everhart calls it the fact your trademark shirt um it does say fact it does say fact because my face is in an a shape <laughs> there you go um but yeah you can check those out and also while i have the floor i just want to wish him today is ty cross's birthday oh really today is ty cross's birthday He's so not even... who's that who the fuck is that? Um, legendary. No, that doesn't sound right. I legendary, legendary wrestler of the area, <clears throat> Ty Cross. Um, the the great what the 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 great. No, that Ty doesn't, yeah, with the that doesn't sound familiar at all. The um, former former Rise Tag Team Champion, one half nope, of System Elite. Not ringing a bell. He's from New York. He doesn't get rise. Well, you know what? Regardless, he's retired now, so fuck him. That's Happy true. birthday, Ty! <laughs> <laughs> I love you, buddy. You Happy go. birthday, whoever you are. <laughs> oh. I mean, you know, random shout out to an unknown birthday kid. You Is may this be, a make a wish? You may be oblivious to everyone else, but you're number one in my heart, Ty. <laughs> <laughs> you're number one in my heart. Mad Mike Fade 3, he's back on the Twitters. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm dusting the thing off. Uh, but also, like, w watch some shit. Like, I, I finished Broad City. That was great. <laughs> um, I, no, no, I, I'm I, sort of. I'm you're... just going through. I, I'm, I'm halfway through the Legend of Korra, which is fantastic. And, and, and I'm excited for a new season of Archer coming up because I just finished watching that too. Oh my god. Yeah. I... <laughs> yeah. This is usually a thing we do on Mondays. <laughs> so. but, but I didn't do it yesterday, no, did I? No, because you were because you were too busy being iconic. No, actually, I was too busy being upset. Yeah, okay. I was, like, <laughs> I, was I was trying to set you up. I was trying also, to set you up. I'm gonna say this before you cut me off like you did last night. Wow. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. I left it in the audio version. I left it in. I know, but you know, I'm I'm sorry, I'm alive. Sword, to get it. You got you gotta get the sword. Are you nothing but respect for my Black Panther? Nothing but respect. There you go. There you go. Riz plays yes. games. Riz plays games on Riz Twitch. Plays games on Twitch, on Twitter, on Facebook, so you can follow my group on there. Uh, today, September 1st, it is September. Oh. New, new subscriptions to Riz Plays Games gets 30% off every subscription. It has to be the recurring kind can't be twitch prime by the way i'll get to twitch prime in a little bit uh but 30 percent off on a twitch prime subscription uh, on a prime subscription with a subscription to risk plays games so you can get sword did you see the chat room yet did you look at the chat did you see the chat you, you're talking did about you see the colleagues yeah i see I, I see all of the great colleagues all throughout over the, chat right now. the chat room right now it's ridiculous that is crazy my emote that you get for for, for just paying 30% off what you would normally pay for a Twitch subscription. Oh, God, I started scrolling. This, this goes on forever. It wow. does. Wow. Uh, also, if you do have Twitch Prime, please, you might want to just give 
that have Jeff Bezos give me some money. Just, mm. just, just, just do it. He's got Why some not? Extra. He got some extra. He got some of that rocket money. Um, you know what? If you looked at the chat right now on Twitch, um, and you wondered what a thirty-man battle royal of all great colleagues would look like, that's what it is. I don't want to see that. No. Wait for it. Don't. Boom. Even more. Uh, how would oh, even more? Oh, oh. How would oh. anyone be able to be eliminated in, in that match? Mm. It's 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 like just... if the Thunderdome was you know hijacked. Was a Punjabi prison. Yes. <laughs> You know, and for that. every picture is the great Kali. I'm waiting for the the botchamania where just the Thunderdome is all the Jim Cornette faces. Um, I, I so. want someone to take a screen cap of the Thunderdome and just put in all the faces of Neo from the Matrix. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah, in the white room. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you so much. So much going on. Uh, oh, also, uh, Grind City uh, TV on your Roku. Indie Wrestling is happening there uh with some feature matches going on and over on uh da -da 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 -da, top rope tabletop is happening live in the studio this friday over on the twitch pages and i believe uh uh riz are you going to help us with a, a rebroadcast of that it'll be the indie wrestling.us i can't remember if you were involved with that one or not we'll, we'll have a conversation i'm sure it'll be hosted if riz isn't playing Oh yeah, I'm gonna host it. Don't okay, worry. there you go. There you go. And we're talking I, got, about... I, got, I got confused there, sort of. Right. That was the other gaming thing we were talking about. That'll be coming up. So. Yeah, the other gaming thing. Oh god, I don't oh, know. We were discussing. Oh no! Oh no! Is, yeah. Oh no! Now I found dog emotes. Why did I find dog emotes on Twitch? Oh no! What's dog happening emotes. right oh, now? Hey, oh, there's, what, what is there's dog emotes. Oh no! I found there's a cool cat emote. Oh, media. what is that? It's like it's there's like Justin Idols sunglasses. here. I don't know what's happening, guys. We need to get out of here before oh, I hurt no. myself oh, or others. We got movie signs. We got movie signs. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.